the see uh, national small industries corporation is a corporation under ministry of msme whereas nsic does not work in any sector specific from pickle to drone any technology anything any product or services we can work on so there is no sector specific we can support any small or micro units which belong to any sector NSIC works for, uh, on the basis of if any company is a small unit, micro unit, or a medium unit. The definition is uh, you can go through the Google, you can get that. It's the smallest of the company called the micro units. If any unit is having Udyam registration or NSIC registration, uh, by which it can be proved that it's a small company, whether it's making pickle, whether it's making drone, whether it's making any services, so all products and services, NSIC is supporting to everyone, right? So you have asked about the uh, rural thing, right? So if you if you see the food processing unit, if you see the uh, units which are making some artisan uh, artifacts or making some handloom products, yes, NSIC is supporting through various schemes like NSIC registration. If you opt for government business, if you are looking for government business, NSIC registration give you access that without EMD, without tender fee, you can get that business. Secondly, if person are there like rural business, as you told, that if they are producing some chadar, some mekla chadar, or maybe they are producing some handloom, some handicraft, then we keep sending those kind of people to various exhibition in India and abroad based on their company category and their social category. So NSIC under SCST hub, we send we send tribals and scheduled castes free of cost to where I will say various uh, events and uh, exhibitions like India International Trade Fair, like Indian Handicraft Fair, like they we have sent them to uh, say overseas also like Bangkok may uh, one Northeast festival was there. We have seen uh, lots of units there. So these rural entrepreneurs, these micro entrepreneurs, we keep sending and supporting them. We have, uh, we cannot give you one. We can get, we can give you hundreds, right? Because we keep producing, we keep printing the success story book. Normally, just uh, one month ago only, only one month back, we did a program here where we have uh, the success story book was unveiled by none other than uh, Honorable Minister of Industries, uh, Shri Bimal Boraji. And there it was more than 100 units and there were more than 300 entrepreneurs who was trained by NSIC. They were there just in front of our office only. So. So we keep, uh, say we keep telling, we keep producing the success story. If you ask name, uh, you can uh, right away also you can go to our training center and just see if batches are running on. They can uh, they can tell you that yes, we after the training or in between the training also we started this business. Normally the people or uh, the uh, what you call the entrepreneurs who are just taking training, they are doing this kind of uh, things. If you ask name, we can give you hundreds of names. I, I will share you the book. Yes. Just see earlier, everything was a challenge, even registration. Now registration is almost uh, registration is free of cost. It's online. So if somebody is sitting in say far flung area, maybe half long, maybe somewhere in Debrugat. They are sitting and they can they don't have access to the offices physically but then they can have access to mobile so one udyam registration which is done by ministry of msme they can do free registration to the company and if they want anything else after that if they want any support from nsic like we support them in the skill development recently we concluded two skill development training at rajgarh which is dibrugarh area Rajgad about the fancy candle making and food processing. So we we are reaching to the far flung area and teaching them. We uh, recently concluded one uh, one training of fancy candle making at Arunachal. Nobody has ever done the training there. 
so we did the first time so we are doing this kind of thing we have done uh, done the training in uh, mizoram we have done training in arunachal as i told you we have done this training in shillong and then cherapunji we have done this kind of training in manipur in fall and then churachandpur so we keep doing all these things and keep reaching people and then the moment they produce something then after that they want to sell those products so as i explained you we keep sending those people into the exhibition so that they can get business uh, out of uh, for their products we recently sent one lady uh, to the indian handicraft and gift fair she got more than 32 inquiries what else they want what else somebody can want from us just see if you see if you ask me about the gender equality then i can say that north east is far better than the any any areas of uh, any uh, say entire india and still we are having more than 95% of our trainees are women right so there is no point asking about the gender equality we are supporting by default it's it's a design like that north east is having the women entrepreneurship far more than the rest of the india and and the the people who are getting this kind of training they are into getting into entrepreneurship far more than the male because male normally go for the jobs what i feel which we understand but normally women they looking for the because of their constraint of the family and the, all that so they go for entrepreneurship and they are highly successful we know we know you must have seen the outside uh, also one banner is there ali mun nisa is there right she is doing a uh, fair good thing she has been supported by nsic and uh, she has got lots of award and that's that's way uh, we have supported too many people right uh, we know that uh, few people who are looking uh, making the cakes the fancy cakes and and uh, they are earning maybe uh, lakh rupees per month sitting in guwahati sitting in shillong and uh, sitting in shillong as i uh, told you that one lady she got a training from nsic about the food processing now she is training also and doing some business business doing and supporting some farmers so she is getting lots of uh, good uh, good support from the society and she is supporting the society and the fellow entrepreneurs or maybe farmers also so gender equality is not an issue now yes yes yes, yes. at least for not still yes now see everything earlier everything was physical now everything is digital we have given our number our um, uh, say our information portal is there if you want any sic registration you should uh, say it's not required to visit our office you can you can go digital and upload your documents there and get the sic registration done if you want your company to be registered nothing is required no physical intervention is required you can go yourself if you have a aadhar card and a mobile connection uh, connected to that aadhar card and then you have pan card and bank account number you can open your uh, company sitting there uh, at your convenient place in 5 minutes so so by digital intervention so the distance in between guwahati and dibrugarh and maybe aizawar is zero practically for this digital transactions right so if if person is sitting at uh, say tawang is he, if he is having he or she is having internet connection then he or she is as good as sitting at guwahati or delhi so getting all these information getting all these facilities online is the digital intervention we do, what we do we have a portal called msmemart.com it is related to lots of other other government portal also if somebody gets in there right so his data is accessible to lots of government companies and his data is accessible to lots of foreign companies also if somebody is producing some hammer or maybe producing pen if any of the government department is taking this kind of thing across india he or she will get this information by our msme mart.com portal in his email account so if a tender being issued of kerala for maybe 1000 pens so person sitting in guwahati or tawang can get the same information subject to he or she is producing that product here. right product or services 
so these kind of digital inter- interventions are there from nsic are there supported by ministry of msc we are supporting and and going ahead so digital uh, what you call the technology is reducing the distances and the time one it's very user friendly secondly if somebody has any problem they can go to the google and search for our numbers and as i see gohati and they can reach here they can directly call me 9810111567 they can directly call me We are we are working in tandem, hand to hand, with the state government. Since we are a central government department, uh, we are working in hand to hand with state government, like commerce industry department, government of Assam. We are working. We are doing some trading for them. We have done some conclave for them, and uh, we have done outdoor trading also. Outdoor means out of the Guwahati. And uh, same thing we are doing with government of Tripura. Same thing we are trying to do with government of uh, Sikkim. Same things we are trying to do. With So lots of things are going on, and like government of Meghalaya, their food processing uh, department they did one exhibition. So we supported them. We have sponsored more than sixty-five units there in their food show, free of cost because uh, most of the people were the tribes. Hornbill festival happens in Nagaland every year. Last year also we supported more than 60 units. This year we supported around 100 units. So this way we are say just working hand to hand with the state government and trying to help entrepreneurs belonging to that place or or entire northeast. Area. No no no, just see. If a person is having turnover of five uh, crore or plant and machinery of one crore, less than that, that is called micro limit. There is no minimum limit. If somebody is doing a transaction of thousand rupees also per month, he or she, that company is a micro unit for us. We can support them. They should have Uttam registration or NSIC registration. Then we can support. That means the, these are the two documents which can prove that they are MSME. They are micro, small, or medium units. We can support them. There is no further eligibility. That it's not like that. We can not. We can support only if a company is doing more than one crore business. No, because we are. We have to support micro industry. Micro industry can be as small as thousand rupees per day per month. Yes, yes. Just see few things we support as per our schemes. But same time, if somebody is having no knowledge about anything, then also they can come. We can guide them. If somebody is not having pan card, it's not our role. But same time, we can support them. Then how to get that uh, pan card so that they can they can have a business uh, business registration under Ministry of Finance. I mean that with their registration. So we can support. If somebody, if I am telling you that it can be done in five minutes, but you cannot do it because of uh, maybe some constraint, but then we can support. We can get that registration done on behalf of you. Uh, say, <coughs> for that you have to come to our office because some uh, that OTP will go to your uh, mobile number. So if you are there uh, sitting in our office, then uh, we can even help you do that registration for you. So all these kind of things. See, say, don't worry about it. Nobody should be worried about before stepping stepping uh, into our office that nobody will support. Either we will support or we will tell the person a reason why it's not being supported. Right? So he or she should be uh, will feel satisfied if uh, he or she or that fellow enters into our office that why we are doing it, why we cannot do it, what kind of documents more he or she is required to produce to get his or her work done. Yes, yes, yes. NSIC keep doing all these activities, not only in northeast but across India. One, 
through through various means and uh, sources yes we are having a portal yes we are having a uh, nsic website we call it nsic.co.in yes we are having msme mart.com which is a portal for b2b transaction yes we are having a nsic tv also yes we are having a youtube channel also nsic yes we are having msme twitter and uh, nsic twitter also so now we are at social media if somebody wants to have that wants to uh, say if they can subscribe then they can directly have the access and they will get that information second point we keep visiting physically we will have uh, not we will have one program which is another another vertical very uh, very so in dimapur earlier we did program at dimapur earlier we did some program at chirachandpur we did program at aizol we did program at guwahati also we did program at uh, just recently at arunachal also so we keep doing these programs so that people are aware and people are getting aware we are we are as as i told you that i have given my number here also and i keep giving my number so that people comes and they comes and they don't feel shy about it and they can talk to us they can call us they can send a message what's up and uh, they can get all all the information which we can be want to share or if we think that they are, it's it's been mentioned or not just see we are having certain schemes one uh, the nsic registration which benefit i have already spoken secondly i told you about msme mart dot com right third we keep sending people to the exhibitions domestic or uh, outside if somebody is looking for uh, some bank loan under our bank tie up scheme we we help them to make the dpr detailed project report and send them to the bank so that bank is having little more comfort giving loan to them right and if they want to have some information about msme ministries schemes which is z or lien or maybe cgt msc we can give these these kind of informations also right so if somebody wants to uh, say to have this information they can call us they can reach us and these kind of initiatives which we are uh, we are doing now the program which i uh, just informed you which is happening in dimapur it is about one nsic venture capital fund limited and we cfl we call it nsic venture capital fund limited there government is doing capital infusion to the companies who are growing and looking for the fund against the equity you must have heard that honorable prime minister sir has announced one uh, fund of fund it's a 10000 crore uh, the amount so that fund is being run by a nbcfl which is run, which is a nsic's own company right so these kind of new initiative is also there from the government of india and from uh, which is the responsibility has been taken by nsic that if somebody is doing business doing business good they want 5 crore 1 crore 10 crore against the expansion plan of their company so if they want capital infusement to grow their pro- uh, grow their company then nbcfl can come into the picture for that uh, awareness program is going to happen on 4th of feb as of now the uh, program is almost finalized by 4th of the may sorry 4th of the may at dimapur so this kind of initiatives which are fairly new 